Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and my Spider-Man Noir video is coming. It'll probably just go up later tonight. I just wanted to make this really quick because that's taken a little bit more time, and I've been exhausted with all the work I've been doing lately, so I'm actually going to let the Spider-Man Noir video render and do it in higher quality and then just take a nap. <laughs> so I will definitely post it up, though, later tonight for sure. I just wanted to do this because this kind of intrigued me. I saw our friend Tevia who uh, posted about this, the dark web, and I actually don't even think I knew about this event coming out, but I, then I more I thought about it, I was like, wait, I think I've seen one or two of these covers posted by Leith Null and a couple other people, like Old Man uh, Venom and stuff on Instagram, so I was like, oh, okay, so this is like an event book that I had no idea was happening, because I, I actually stopped reading the current Spider-Man book by Zeb Wells, even though I love Zeb Wells, the first three issues really just didn't do much for me, and I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of how Beyond ended, where they turned Ben Riley into a villain. And so I guess that's what Dark Web is kind of all about, that uh, connection he made at the end of Beyond, Ben Riley joined up with the Goblin Queen, who is Madeline Pryor, a clone of Jean Grey. So it's two clones, essentially, that have feel like they've been wronged by the Marvel Universe and the circumstances of the Marvel Universe. They feel like they got the raw end of the deal, so they're taking their revenge on the X-Men and Spider-Man in a story called Dark Web that's going to start in December and run into January, then February. So I just want to cover this because I may actually pick up some of this series. I don't know if I'll get all of it, but I definitely think it'll be fun to review. So at some point before December, I will review the first volumes because they're coming out in trade paperback. I think Venom's already out, uh, but the Al Ewing Rom V Venom, the Rom V Carnage, and the Zeb Wells Spider-Man. Those first volume trades should be coming out uh, between now, if they're not already out, between now and uh, December. So I'll definitely at least discuss those. We'll do discussion videos on those so that we're kind of caught up for this. And my history of Ben Riley videos will also be done by December, and that'll catch us all the way up to beyond, which is, you know, sets the stage for this as well. So we'll be fully caught up by the time this book comes out. And, uh, and so what we have here is a story that Zeb Wells is kind of the architect of. It's mainly a Spider-Man story, but it is going to involve the X-Men, and it will have, you know, uh, I guess, miniseries. So it won't cross over into the actual X-Men books, so that's why it feels more like a Spider-Man event. Um, but there will be a Dark Web X-Men miniseries written by Jerry Duggan. So we'll get into all the, the pieces here. Um, but we'll start with the, the first one, which is a Dark Web number one. It's not called Alpha. They might call it Dark Web Dusk, or that's like the code name for it. So there'll be Dusk and then Dawn will be the Omega issue at the end. So it's bookended by two giant size issues. Um, and this will be draw, or, or written by Zeb Wells, but drawn by Adam Kubert. So that is why I was like, you know what, I may, I may pick this up just to see Adam Kubert drawing the X-Men and Spider-Man again. I love his artwork and I love when he does these characters particularly. So we'll definitely pick it up and, and you know, review it and discuss it on the channel. And Ryan Stegman's going to be doing one of the covers, the wraparound cover. So, uh, so this will be the, the main event. And I think basically what's happening is it's pretty much a cliche story. It happens in Marvel all the time, all the way back to Inferno, uh, which was like an 80s X-Men story where demons from, you know, different realms were attacking New York. That's what's happening here. Demons, uh, Limbo has been taken over by the Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor, and she now has some kind of hold or influence over Ben Riley as Chasm. He's like the new vi uh, villain called Chasm. And, uh, and so she kind of has an influence on him. And it looks like they're going to go out and recruit characters like Venom and some other X-Men characters maybe to join their team. So that'll be neat because it's Ben Riley kind of corrupted, teaming up with Venom corrupted. That could be pretty cool. I'm hoping we get a rematch between the two, though, because that was really fun in Exile Returns when we covered that story where Ben Riley beat the crap out of Venom. Um, although Ben Riley also got his butt kicked pretty badly, too. Um, but he came out the winner. So that would be cool to get a, uh, a rematch after all these years, finally. Um, but then it looks like they might team up. So so the story is Limbo has been taken over by Goblin Queen. She opens up a portal. Demons come to New York. You know, New York is just a glutton for punishment in the Marvel Universe. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so anyway, demons are coming, and the X-Men and Spider-Man have to team up to stop this, you know, stop uh, Goblin Queen and Chasm, basically. So that's kind of the setup. And so we have Dark Web number one coming out in December. We have Amazing Spider-Man number 15, written by Zeb Wells and art by Ed McGinnis. So for, for a crossover event, they got some really big artists on this, like Adam Kubert, Ed McGinnis. I'm like, wow, that's impressive. Like, I'm, I'm that's amazing. So, uh, and John Romita Jr. doing the cover. So Amazing Spider-Man 15 and 16 are both going to come out 
in December, so there'll be parts of this storyline. Um, Dark Web X-Men by Jerry Duggan and Rob Reyes, uh, who I'm also a big fan of, great artist, and covers by Phil Noto, who's another amazing artist. Um, that's coming out in December. It's a three-issue miniseries, but you're going to get issues one and two in December, and apparently issue three will come out in January. We'll talk about January here in a second. Um, and then we're also going to get a one-shot for Miss Marvel, Dark Web Miss Marvel. Now, the team is a uh, Sabir uh, Prezada, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing your name, um, who wrote Miss Marvel in the recent Voices one-shot that Marvel came out with, um, and then also Francesco uh, Mortarino, who's going to be the artist on it, and then Marco Cicchetto is going to be doing one of the covers, so how awesome is that? Like, again, just, they got a lot of big names on there, and then some names I'm, uh, you know, new to, like the, the creative team on this, um, but then having Marco Cicchetto on the cover, so I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I read the Miss Marvel Venom book which we'll discuss at some point soon on the show and the miss marvel moon knight ones and i liked them both i was like hey these are fun and i think that was one of my probably my second experience ever reading something that had miss marvel in it so um and i thought those two books were fun so uh so i might i'll probably pick this one shot up um or actually it's, a, it's two issues i think um miss marvel has a issue one in uh, december and one in, in, in issue two in january so um so i might pick this up especially if i like the first issue I'll definitely pick up the second issue, um, but I'm going to I'm gonna lean it all on the first issue, uh, but hopefully it's really good. Um, then we also have a, a book called Mary Jane and Black Cat by Jed McKay, who I'm really loving his Moon Knight run, been liking his Black Cat series I liked a lot, and then the last time he wrote a team up with Mary Jane and Black Cat, I believe, uh, that issue was awesome. So uh, so Vincenzo Caruta, uh, uh, Caratu is the artist on this. Um, again, sorry if I'm butchering any names, I apologize with a cover by J. Scott Campbell, which of course he's going to draw the spider girls. You know, he always draws spider women characters on covers. So, um, so yeah, we got a Mary Jane and Black Cat number one coming out. And then a book I had no idea existed, Gold Goblin number two. Uh, I guess Gold Goblin is Norman Osborn has now, you know, I guess that was kind of set up or read a little bit about that in the Zeb Wells Spider-Man stuff where he's a good guy. I think some of the later issues four and five probably deal with it more. But so he's the Gold Goblin now, and he is uh, do, trying to do good and, and, you know, be a hero. So his book is going to have two issues crossover in this event. And uh, that'll be neat to see Norman Osborn as a good guy fighting Ben Riley as a bad guy, considering Ben Riley died, you know, saving Peter against a fight with Norman Osborn. So, uh, so that could be fun to get that rematch. So I'm really hoping Zeb Wells kind of plays on that, like all those setups from the 90s clone saga a lot of those characters are going to be meeting each other again, like Ben and, you know, Venom, and then Ben and Norman Osborn. So I really hope, and but each one's kind of on the different side a little bit. I think it'll be fun to kind of explore that. So hopefully they do in a, in a fun way. Um, and then Venom issue 14. So again, that's why I'm going to try to catch up on the current Venom book by December so that we're ready to discuss this story. And then after the story, I pretty much feel like I'm going to walk away from all these characters again for a while from the current stuff. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so this will be a good jumping off point, I think, for, um, for a lot of the current things that are happening right now. Um, but it'll also give us some stuff to talk about in the meantime while we're waiting for Venom 3 movie news. Um, so then in January, we get two issues of Spider-Man again, number 17 and 18, Amazing Spider-Man, are going to cross over to this. Dark Web, Miss Marvel, number two. Dark Web, X-Men, number three. Mary Jane and Black Hat number two, um, and then Gold Goblin number three, and then Venom issue 15. And then in February, that's when the series wraps up. It's in issue 16 of Venom, and then the Dark Web finale, you know, codenamed Dawn. So that's the event. It's about 18 issues, it looks like, at least as of right now with this. Who knows, because sometimes Marvel's you know, throws in additional things. I'm really surprised Miles Morales isn't a part of this at all, um, him being a spider character. Um, or, I don't know. It would just would have been nice to see like a team of X-Men teaming up with a team of spider people with Miles and Spider-Gwen and, and stuff like that. So maybe that still could happen, but and maybe the story just doesn't dictate that. But I just feel like it kind of reminds me of when they did um, you know, Absolute Carnage, and I was like, well, if you're going around collecting codexes or codices, why aren't you looking for Ben Riley's codex? You know, why aren't you looking for these other characters that you guys seem to be forgetting about? Um, so I hope that's not the case. I hope it's not one of those things where it's like, man, Miles would have been great in the story because I, I think a Spider-Man story with the X-Men teaming up, I think I would love to see, you know, Miles in that kind of setting. So hopefully he pops up somewhere in one of these books. That would be fun. So let me know what you think of Dark Web. Um, like I said, I'll definitely cover as much of it as I can when it comes out. I don't know if I'll buy every issue but I'll at least buy the Spider-Man ones and the Venom ones, I guess. Um, and then maybe some of those other ones, I'll buy the tie-ins. You know, I'll try the first issue and see what I, how I feel about them. Um, and then wait for them to go on sale 
you know, a couple months down the road if I don't like them and buy them on Comixology. Uh, we'll see. But uh, but at least for now, I'm going to try to get the main books of this and cover it for you and then also cover the stuff leading up to it um, sometime in November when we start the next season of Venom Vlog. Uh, so for now, I still want to get to issue our episode 750 and wrap up all the stuff we've been doing and do the Spider-Verse stuff with Noir, which will come up next, and other things. But then next season, we'll dive into back. We'll start the season off with more current stuff. And then, you know, go back and wrap up like Mayday Parker and other little, you know, continuities and other worlds with the symbiote in it that we haven't got to yet. So let me know your thoughts on Dark Web down in the comments below. Are you excited for this? Are you not excited for this? Um, you know, I, I, I'm like in the middle because I don't like Ben Riley as a villain, but I also like the idea of Ben Riley, you know, having another interaction with Eddie Brock and with uh, Norman Osborn. Um, something about that is just like, I really want to, I really want that to be done well. So uh, I'll try to temper my expectations, but Zeb Wells is a great writer and so are a lot of these people. So I, I have a little bit more hope than I did before when I just saw the poster for this event and I was like, ugh. And then I looked into a little bit more and I'm like, oh, okay, well the premise still is silly. Like the goblin queen taking over limbo and demons attacking the earth. I'm like, we've, we've seen this a million times, whether it's demons or symbiotes or whatever it is, it's always like this type of story or scrolls. Um, but uh, but at least in this case, there's a few character moments that there's some potential for some really cool things with. And, and I hope this story delivers on. So let me know again what you think down below. And we'll continue talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.